Come with me, Jake Turner, as I travel the back roads talking with corn and soybean experts about best practices in pest control, ag issues, and how growers can get more from every acre. All you need is a minute. I'm on my way to Lambertville, New Jersey, close to the FMC Research Facility, to talk with Tim Martin, FMC Principal Research Scientist. Tim was instrumental in the development of Capture LFR Insecticide, the market-leading at-plant soil insecticide. So you might say nobody knows more about at-plant pest control than Tim. Tim, would you tell us a little bit about what you do? I'm a research scientist for North America Crop. So when you're talking about liquid fertilizer ready, what should growers expect from their at-plant insecticides? Well, the first thing they want is performance. They really need that above all else. The next is convenience, and with Capture LFR, you get both. A lot of other products are making claims that the same as Capture LFR. What sets Capture LFR apart? Firstly, we have two patents on Capture LFR technology, and we have at least half a dozen in the works where we're expanding the technology, including a patent that shows enhanced emergence. So you've tested some of these other products. What are the results you found? Well, we've seen a lot, Jake, and we take a look, and some are just rebranded old ECs. They just rebrand them and say they're liquid fertilizer compatible. And then there's competition out there where they say, you mix that old EC, mix it with a compatibility aid, and presto, it's instantly compatible. Well, to the eye it is, but analytical testing shows it separates. So, not very good. What issues does that create for growers in the field? Well, first off, they lose convenience. Because if they have a product that agglomerates in their tank and they can't apply it, then they've got a tank with a real mess. They've got to empty that, clean out their equipment, and do something else. The second is performance. If you don't have the uniformity across that entire field, they may not see it initially, but when it comes time for harvest, they'll have a greatly reduced yield. So we've got some issues with application, some issues with protection, and yield. Absolutely. And what about refuge in a bag? How does Capture LFR interact with that? Well, that's where our technology is very important because every single seed has to be protected at that point when you have refuge in a bag. Because you've got seed out there that's unprotected. With Capture, you can be assured that every single inch of that furrow is protected with Capture. Now, you have a lab, but a lot of growers don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how do they know whether or not their application is working? Well, a couple of things. They can do the old simple jar test, which shows you visually you know, what kind of compatibility you have. But I caution people against that, relying on that solely, because you can be fooled visually. Well, we have a lab and analytical equipment to determine uniformity. They don't. So the next step is to go out there and dig some roots. Take a look at you know, what the insects have done to your roots. Tim, what do we have here? Jake, this is a typical compatibility test, a jar test. And uh, what are each of these jars holding? Well, what we've got here is a liquid fertilizer starter, 11370. This first jar has EC um, rebranded, just a typical EC that was rebranded as fertilizer compatible. This jar has a suspension concentrate, any old suspension concentrate, and this has Capture LFR. Now, I noticed this one's uh, quite separated and Capture LFR looks so uniform. What's the difference? Well, what happens here is you mix these up immediately and there's uniformity. But after a few minutes, this has been here for 10 to 15 minutes, this rises to the surface. So you've got all your active ingredient up here. What you have is 90% of the field gets fertilizer, 10% of the field gets all the active ingredient. And now what's going on here? Well, you'll never get it out of the tank. This is all flocculate it, coagulate it. This would just block up your tank. You spend more time cleaning your tank than actually get an application. You don't want to use this at all. And then you got the uniformity of Capture LFR. That's correct. Now, you mentioned that these have been sitting here for a bit. Well, as you're doing an application, it's not sitting still. It's going back and forth sloshing like this. Won't that work? Well, that's a good point, but uh, an application's a long period of time, and sloshing is not agitation. You can see you sloshed it around, and it really doesn't want to mix. We also talked about compatibility agents that can make a, a product that really a actually applies like this, but looks like Capture LFR's uniformity. Can you explain that? 
What they're doing there is they're taking a compatibility agent and mixing it in with either the fertilizer or the EC, and it's masking the separation. It slows it down, but our analytical testing shows that it rapidly rises to the top, and you get the same situation you have with your EC. Now, I know Capture LFR is easy to use, but how does it manifest itself when you're doing a root check? The beauty of this is when you go out and you randomize your root digs, your roots are going to be healthy in every single spot. What advice would you give growers who are considering an at-plant insecticide, Tim? Capture LFR is the leader. It's eight years of uh, experience and proven technology. I'd go with this. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. As Tim told us, the uniform application of Capture LFR allows us to unlock the genetic potential of every seed on every acre and protect your yield by delivering an easy, effective solution for premium at-plant seedling defense. This is Jake Turner reminding you to stay safe out there. See you down the road when you have a minute.